Hi there, I'm Katherine Compton, Chief Development Officer for World Vision Strong Women Strong World. At World Vision, we are committed to serving the most vulnerable people in our world, where extreme poverty and oppression thrives. Often, the most vulnerable are female. Why? Because women and girls face more obstacles simply because they are born female. We believe that ending extreme poverty in our lifetime is possible but it has to start with access to clean and safe drinking water. The global water crisis affects women and girls the most. In fact, collectively, they spend on the average 20 million hours or more hauling water every day. Hours they can't spend getting an education, learning a skill, or earning a much needed income. In places where women lack access to adequate healthcare and clean water, the most dangerous thing she can do is have a baby. Can you imagine that where life begins, it could, and often does, end? The burden that women and girls carry in the pursuit of water is not only the physical and the time implications, but the mental and the emotional toll it takes for securing safe, clean drinking water for the basic needs of their families. We are seeing that the increasing scarcity of water access through drought, floods, forced migration, crop failures is severely impacting the lives of women and girls, creating greater uncertainty and instability for their families and communities. This results in increased poverty levels that often forces families to supplement their household income by monetizing their daughters to secure the bride price that comes from early marriage and harmful practices such as female genital mutilation. We must intentionally focus on making a significant impact in the lives of women and girls in all aspects of our work. We must be committed to measurable impact and lasting change. And this means putting women and girls in the center of the development agenda with a proven technical programming that provides equal access and opportunity. Starting with water. You can't do anything if you don't have water. Next would be health and nutrition, education, both formal and informal, economic empowerment, savings groups, and access to capital through microfinance. All of this must be built on the foundation of creating enabling environments of rightful relationships between men and women, boys and girls, through the shifting of long set harmful mindsets and cultural, social and spiritual norms that hold back or hinder the progress for women and girls, families, communities, and entire countries in breaking the cycle of poverty. It is critical that all of these technical programmatic interventions are inclusive of local and national policy change and adherence, access to financial services, technology, and especially a robust learning agenda with trusted academic institutions to determine and establish the best practices for positive change. We cannot end extreme poverty if half the world's population is held back. We know that when women and girls gain equal access and opportunity, children are better cared for, families are stronger, communities and countries are more prosperous. So how do we get there? We cannot go it alone. It takes all of us, individuals, corporations, foundations, community-based organizations, international nonprofit organizations, governments, academia, strategic partners, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We must raise awareness of the issues. We must use our influence to advocate on behalf of those we seek to serve. And we must involve our spheres of influence and relationships by inviting them in to generating the much needed resources to equip millions to change the trajectory of their lives, empowering to overcome the barriers that keep them from productive and fulfilled lives because when women and girls are empowered, everyone wins. And it all starts with access to clean and safe drinking water.